Gentleman first, so I need to make sure she's the author of the brand new radical longevity, the powerful plan to sharpen your brain, strengthen your body, and reverse the symptoms of aging. So if you haven't gotten the book, radicallongevitybook.com for six free gifts. And we really think this is a special book because aging is a privilege. Absolutely. And Teresa, by the way, this is Teresa, our chef extraordinaire. Hi, everybody. I was on a podcast yesterday, Teresa. Oh. I did Bulletproof with David Asprey, and he introduced me as one of your elders. Oh, my. I don't know how I took that. How do we think, yeah, how do we feel about that? I don't know. (laughs) It's so strange being called an elder. I was once introduced as a fairy godmother of nutrition. Oh. And I thought to myself, (laughs) maybe that's that's the case being in your 70s. I guess it was a compliment. I'm going to take it as a compliment. We will. have a wonderful, wonderful (laughs) podcast, which I think is going to be broadcast tomorrow. Excellent. So that was the good news. But today, we're going to be talking about unpacking the top TikTok trends. And say that five times fast. Unpacking the top TikTok trends. There's all sorts of things that are trending. Some of it is real substance. Some of it is real glitter. And we're going to figure out whether it's true or false or somewhere in between. So I want you to start, and I want you to welcome all the people from wherever they are. Wherever you are, we want to know where you are how hot it is, and what you're doing right this moment. Yes, let us know, because we're here in the Pacific Northwest in the middle of a historic heat wave, and we're hot. We're hot <laughs> and smoking. Your fire is burning. Yeah. Your fire is burning, I think, in the state of Washington and the state of Oregon. So everybody's moving to Idaho, <laughs> yeah. bringing all the smoke. We, we're the fire of the smoke. That's good. I believe Smoke that. on the water, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> let's go into our yeah, question. Yeah, we love it with it. Yeah. So, and guess what I'm drinking? Uh, water. Well, guess what's in the water? What is in the water? Salt. Oh, good idea and on why, a hot day. Why are we drinking salt? Because we're ha- healthy and wanted for sodium. This is a special Himalayan salt. I try to give everybody my tooth that's been here. And so I'm taking it in because I've got low blood sodium. It's the most important mineral when the heat is really soaring. You need it because it relaxes your muscles. I know we talk about magnesium as a muscle relaxer, but there's nothing that beats natural, bioavailable sodium. So here's for all of you. Here's <laughs> a pie and skull. <laughs> a slime shot. <laughs> anyway, are we ready for our first question? We're ready, willing, and hopefully able. Okie dokie. We, you are always able, Anthony. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, so this one has to do with eating papaya seeds. Ooh. To get rid of parasites. My favorite topic. Right. And so what we're wondering, users are scooping whole papaya straight from the fruit and eating it by the spoonful. And they're calling this an effective anti-parasite treatment. What do we think? So that actually is true. That gets a check. That is a true, it's not an urban myth, it's actually true. Oh, I didn't know. We've had many clients who have been south of the border and have actually gotten rid of parasites by using sun-dried papaya seeds. They take a scoop, maybe a half a cup, dry them in the sun, and put a spoonful of honey with it. Oh, my goodness. And it's like probably kind of good. <laughs> kind of good. Well, I think the honey acts as a kind of like worm bait. And then oh. when they examine the stools of their children, they see all kinds of little tapeworms, and they see all kinds of flukes, and they see all kinds of pinworms and threadworms. Oh. So that's absolutely true. What other notes do we have on that? Excellent. Uh, let's see. True, true, true. Now, here's if an interesting... If you can get papaya. Yeah, if you can get fresh papaya, especially, right? Well, at this time of the year, I think most places can. So that would be the case. But there are other things you can also do. For parasites? Yes. Yes, so if absolutely. So you want to use a food source, you can do two cloves of raw garlic chopped up in your food ah. per day. So that would be number one. The second thing you can do is put in your smoothie a tablespoon or two of diatomaceous food-grade food grade diatomaceous earth. And, of course, the third thing is to use verma plus and terra tea to use that parasite formula. So use that for five days of the full moon window. Excellent. I love it that these are all natural remedies, too. Yeah, but because people are eating a lot of foods these days that aren't well cooked. I mean, I don't eat salads. You know I don't eat salads up because of the parasites. I mean, I wrote about parasites, folks, in 1993. I think that's the Yeah, the text, the, practically the Bible about parasites. That's what came to dinner, text. so I'm very concerned. And because I came back from the Mideast with parasites, so uh, we all got kind of sick back then. We, we didn't know what we were eating. We were eating in the open markets. We were eating wow. on the roads. 
you know, you're going into a third world, it wasn't actually a third world country, but you're going into a different environment. Mm -hmm. It's very tropical. We weren't washing our hands. We were very young and carefree. Yes, we all were once. Weren't we? And we came back very warmly. <laughs> yeah. So, and I have to tell you something. A lot of the kids that came back with these warmth, because many of them had to go to physicians to get diagnosed, were also told they had celiac. So I'm also wondering if sometimes celiac disease is kind of a second tier parasitic involvement. Mm. You get rid of the worms, you get rid of the acidic sensitivity and the colon. That makes sense to me. It does. Well, it surely happened with everybody else there. So the, the garlic is good. Use as yes. much garlic as you can right now. The papaya seeds, if you can get it, so that's not an urban myth. That's true. The diatomaceous earth and the vermiplux and the parakeet. Perfect. Any other questions? Yes. Let's see. Does dry scooping help you lose weight? And here's what they mean. Before working out, users are swallowing a dry scoop of pre-workout energy powder, usually containing large amounts of caffeine instead of mixing the powder with a liquid as intended. So we're wondering, is this trend safe or are there risks to this or could it actually be effective in boosting performance? Well, I guess they're getting the caffeine straight without it being diluted. I see. And quite frankly, I would never take anything so powdery because that can, can, can affect the sinuses. You can have post-nasal drip from that. You need to actually mix it with water. Any kind of powder has been processed, has been refined, and you need to mix it with water so it gets into the system, gets into the lymphatic. So I think that that's kind of a neutral, quite frankly. I agree. Uh, let's see. Oh, you kind of touched on this one, but this is interesting. Can garlic actually help to clear your sinuses? And the thing is that some users are cutting off the end of an entire garlic clove and putting one up each nostril for 8 oh, to I 10 would, minutes. I would never do that. That's too irritating to the sensitive mucosal yeah. lining. Yeah. But I would take it in food. I would take it in food. Some people even juice their garlic. Oh, yes. I've heard you of know, that. You know, they juice a little bit of ginger, a little piece of ginger, maybe a clove of garlic. And I would take it internally with a lot of parsley. Parsley, garlic, mm. rosemary, and sage. Perfect. I love that combination. I do too. Or we take it in the radical longevity cocktail of two ounces of cucumber juice because cucumber is cooling. Yes. We have yes. to get teeth cool. Two ounces of celery juice, two ounces of carrot juice, and two ounces of beet juice. And then you've got eight ounces of juice with all these vitamins, minerals, polyphenols, nutraceuticals, and phytonutrients, and then I would juice maybe one to two cloves, depending upon your taste buds of the garlic. That will kill anything, believe it or not. That sounds excellent. And in fact, but I But don't put it up your nose, because you can actually harm the mucosal that, lining. That answers the next question But I will tell you what well. I do for stuffy sinuses. This is my, my latest find. I do the saline wash, and in it I put one to two drops of eucalyptus. Ah. Uh. Much better. And it really opens up the sinus cavities. I do that. I'm also taking, because I've had sinus problems for a while, having lived in a moldy environment for many years, not knowing. I'm also using a Serapeptase, oh. which is a wonderful silkworm derivative that I take on a daily basis to break up fibrotic tissue, adhesions that I have from the fall. And it also is the best natural remedy for sinusitis. Oh, that is so good to know. So I'm taking two, three times a day with my salt and water. Excellent. I think you covered that one well, pretty well. Well, thanks to the silkworm. Yes. <laughs> oh, amazing little creatures. Oh, they do all kinds of things. Okay, this uh, next question is, sedative. It's not an opiate, an opiate, an opiate. It's not an opiate type sedative, but there is a natural sedative and it's called, listen to this, lactucarium, lactucarium, L-A-C-T-U-C-A-R-I-U-M. Hmm. So it does contain natural sedative properties. Properties I learned it many years ago from my herbal teacher, Hannah Kroger, may she rest in peace. She was a minister. Um, she, she, oh, interesting. She was very, very spiritual and she had we did all kinds of classes in my home in Santa Monica in those days. 
And she was a big believer in lettuce juice. And I said, huh. I said, Reverend Hannah, what is there about lettuce that we don't know about? She said it has natural sedative properties. So I think that actually would be healthy, to be quite honest with you. But I would take something rather than iceberg. I would take something that has more chlorophyll in it, something like bib lettuce or maybe a little arugula. Well, that's excellent because... Because bitter is better. Bitter is better. And this leads right into our next question. Oh, and I have to really read the script. Don't ah. I? <laughs> or I thought it did somewhere. I, we did have a question about chlorophyll. Here it is. Does chlorophyll, do chlorophyll drops work? Um, they're extremely popular right now on TikTok because allegedly they clear up your skin, remove odor from sweat, give you energy, help you lose weight, boost your immunity, even fight cancer and help detox. What do you think? I love chlorophyll. <laughs> I love chlorophyll. So that's, this is amazing. All these trends are actually very healthy trends, the majority of them, with a little, you know, customization here and there. So I would get some standard process. They have a fat soluble of chlorophyll. If you want to kind of t take a little pin and just break the capsule, you can put it mm. in water. I take one or two a day, or I take our liver lovin', which is a source of chlorophyll. So I take it in pill form, and I also take the standard process fat soluble. High source of magnesium. So it's very purifying for the system, good as a natural deodorant, by the way. Oh. It deodorizes the body. It really does. And I can, mm. uh, you'd also take chlorophyll in a lot of the greens. I mean, if you were to juice a green, what would be the highest in chlorophyll? See if you know, Chef mm, Teresa. The You're highest on the spot. You're on the I... TikTok spot. Uh-oh. <laughs> the highest in chlorophyll. Actually, I, I don't know unless it would be... Uh, spinach or chard or something along it's those parsley. lines? parsley. Parsley! And parsley Should juice can that. actually get you very high, so that oh. may or may not be well, a good thing go to make talk it about online. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, moving right along. Yes, moving right along. Talking about experimenting in the kitchen. Which um, we do all the time. Which we do, yeah. Oh, and to, well, we'll tell them about this in a minute. Okay. Well, uh, I think you answered all the questions about chlorophyll. One question was, who, if anyone, should try chlorophyll water? So anybody that has problems with their, their breath, bad breath, mm -hmm. any kind of issue like that, I think should try it. Any kind of detoxification. If you've got a lot of mercury, the best thing to do is to take some of the chlorophyll to detoxify the mercury slowly but surely. And if you just want a good clean out because of the magnesium content, I think a little chlorophyll won't hurt anyone. Just get a very organic source. It's usually made from alfalfa, by the way. All right, that's great to know. Here's a fun one. Ready for a fun one? Ready for a fun one. They're calling it profi, which profi. is oh, protein cute. coffee. And is it good for you? Uh, combines pre-made protein shake and black cold brew coffee. So you have protein and coffee. Um, some users add syrups or sweeteners. Others use powder instead of a pre-made shake. What do you think about this? So it sounds like they got their recipe from radical longevity it sounds like a radical blaster that's just so I what i was excellent. thinking taking a cup of coffee but what do we look for in coffee for the coffee drinkers out there well first of all it really needs to be organic it needs to be organic. that way you, you can be sure that it wasn't uh, made processed with formaldehyde or any other yucky stuff because coffee is the highest amount of pesticides of anything so if you think you're going organic and you don't have organic coffee you're not doing yourself any favor and of course it's got to be mold free mold free organic and also uh, it's important I, I do love a dark roast but you taught me about using a medium roast to get all of the health benefits so that you're not getting too many advanced glycation and exactly and it tastes the same listen to what our longevity blaster okay. has that's where tiktok got their info so you tiktok TikTok is actually referencing radical longevity, everybody. So you better buy your book today. <laughs> Be ahead of the TikTok trends, for heaven's sakes. Okay, eight ounces of coffee from Purity Coffee, one of our resources, one mm -hmm. scoop whey protein. This is profi. Up to one tablespoon of cacao powder, a little coconut oil, some vitality C, sunflower lecithin, ground Ceylon cinnamon. So they're getting all their info from us. This is one of my favorite drinks. I think the combination... And you can have it cold. Yeah, you could make it cold, ice, doesn't you? Like a frappuccino coffee, kind ice of. Ice profi, <laughs> ice longevity blaster profi. Yeah, and I love this recipe because um, 
boy, sometimes I'll take this for breakfast. And I think the combination of all the ingredients gives me energy for hours versus just a regular cup of coffee. Oh, it's wonderful, and especially with a little bit of coconut oil. Yes. I mean, there's something about that coconut oil that's so good with those ketones and so forth, mm -hmm. and very satisfying. Now, do we have any other questions? We do. I think we have one or two more. One more from TikTok. One and more. Maybe, maybe Matt has some questions he's going to read to us. Okay, great. Here's, maybe he doesn't. Well, here's one that <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> maybe he'll make one or two up. <laughs> Well, uh, what do you think about trading watermelon for cucumber dipped in stevia? Oh, what a cute idea. What a clever idea. So watermelon like cucumber is cooling and we need to be cooled. This is the time of the year when you can have more fruits that are raw and uncooked because they will cool you down. So watermelon is also high in sugar. For those of you that have candida or yeast concerns or mold, it's not an option, I'm sorry to say. Yeah. But the cucumber has the cooling effect without the sugar. Dip it in stevia, dip it in monk fruit. I kind of like that idea. I think it's a lovely, lovely idea. That gets a thumbs up. Okay, good deal. I think I would rather dip mine in a little uh, monk fruit than stevia personally, but I guess it's up to preference. Well, I like monk fruit better. It doesn't have that aftertaste. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm thinking, real, too. I'm really loving stuff. And then, or, or some xylitol from birch. Hmm. That could work, yeah. Now, what do we have here, my dear, as we end up okay. our TikTok review? Oh, we wanted to tell you about one of the most simple desserts we make that is so much fun. You can eat it hot or cold. So, this actually we made yesterday. So, it's the real deal right here. I just wanted to show you. We take... Uh, two or three bags of frozen berries and this time we use blackberries and blueberries and a few raspberries we had a few fresh raspberries that we threw were in there. Just from our neighbor totally organic yeah they're wonderful and so i just put it in something like this stick it in the oven on 350 for about 30 minutes and you don't even have to add anything it cooks down in its own juices and then we sprinkled some coconut in there and nuts um, do you have nuts in there we do we had some walnuts in here we've tried all kinds of different nuts we it just makes walnuts. kind of a compote we love red walnuts our favorite is the new red yeah, walnuts out of california oh those are and beautiful I, and i put a little bit of this this is my powdered sugar it's a, the flora key yeah a little flora key on top what is all this um, just a little unsweetened coconut makes a big difference just sprinkled on top of there or sometimes we like a little splash of coconut milk but it's also even really good with some cashew yogurt on top. Oh, yum, cashew yogurt. <laughs> You've got coconut yogurt, cashew yogurt, sometimes goat milk yogurt, and as mm -hmm. you can tell right dairy, we've got organic whole milk yogurt. Yes. So we've been having more desserts lately because they're cooling. Yes. And we're having more desserts because I'm coming off of a huge promotional tour for the book Radical Longevity, which if you haven't gotten it, you have to get it today for those six free gifts. Let me remind you, please. And so when you're coming off of a tour, there's a lot of need for rest and relaxation and just laying back, which is really not easy. No, <laughs> it's not it's easy. It's very hard. Uh, so I've been treating myself to all these natural desserts. And tomorrow we've got a guest coming in from, I think she's coming in from Arizona. Welcome to Sharon. And we're going to make another treat for her, which is going to be our faux brownies. How do you make yes. those? Yes. Well, I think tried a couple of different ways. One of the, our favorites are zucchini brownies, flourless. So we might try that. We've been kind of experimenting too with some chestnut flour. That I might know, be good in we, there. We use, we use carob for this. Oh, carob. Because it has a nicer yes. flavor to me. Yeah, to I'm the only you person it does. No, actually a lot of our guests have liked it and not even realized it was carob it was, versus it, chocolate. I know. We use carob and I'll tell you why I use carob and with this we'll conclude and this is not an urban myth. <laughs> because carob is a very high source of vanadium, and vanadium is a mineral that's so good for blood sugar. And I come from uh, a blood sugar sensitive family. I mean, I, I got too. into this because my whole family was type 2 diabetes. Oh my goodness. Oh yes, everybody. And I'm, st I'm still in the hypoglycemic category. So taking that is really good to balance your blood sugar. Dr. Atkins, may he rest in peace, use vanadium all the time. And you can't get it in many foods, but carob is one of the only sources. Yes, that's so good to know. So we have a strategy for everything. So I, I don't know if there are any questions today. Maddie, is there any questions? No, there's one that's very specific. We'll do it offline from Ellen. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get to that one. Okay. okay. So if Matt says we'll get to that offline, I guess we're going to get to it we offline. Will. And we'll let you know in the future how our recipe works out for our flourless brownies. <laughs> we will. So we want to wish you health, 
happiness, prosperity, keeping cool, and be, be live long and live strong. Yes. <laughs> May you have a radically healthy summer. Thanks for being with us. Be, bye for now.